Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, my camera is a bit glitchy. That is not great. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> hello, 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 Adele. Hello, uh, Jay. Hello, Jeffrey. Hello, JoJo's. How we doing, guys? I'm super, super excited. But also, I have to preface this. I am kind of sick. So if you hear me sniffling, I apologize in advance because the last two days, I know I told you guys I didn't stream yesterday because I'm a little bit ill. Um, but I couldn't miss out on today's FC and Chats episode because my guest, I'm excited. This, this, this guest is honestly very, very different from any type of guest that we've had on the show today. We're going a little bit outside of the football realm, but he still loves soccer. So I'm super, super excited. Hello, Jeffrey. How we doing? But um, no, I am, I'm very, very excited because today it's going to be a good episode. And so shout out to everyone. Hello, Corny. How are we doing, guys? But yeah, so apologies in advance. I am a little bit sick. So yeah, if, I'm very quiet. All right, let me turn it up. There we go. Is that better? Is that, is that better? Um, but yes, if uh, you guys hear me sniffling or sneezing, uh, don't be surprised because I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit sick. So apologies in advance. But um, all right, shall we, shall we get into it? Do you guys want to meet him? Are you, are you ready? That's better. Perfect. All right. So this, this guy, so listen to this guys, him and his DJ partner have performed at Lollapalooza at Coachella. They are currently on tour across the United States. He is a massive football fan and one half of the DJ duo, the lost Kings. And, uh, you know what? He says he's pretty good at FC 24 as well. So let's, uh, let's get him into the call here. Let's say hello to our guests. All right, let's make sure you're unmuted. There we go. Can you hear me? I can. All right, beautiful. And um, I, have, I have to say that's just a bold faced lie. I, I, <laughs> I didn't say I'm good. Uh, the chat, don't believe her. That was not, you just lied right to your face. <laughs> no, I believe I believe that you're good. You know, you know about soccer, so that just automatically translates over into FIFA. I think. <laughs> I agree. I agree. No, but thank you so much for coming on the show today. If you guys do not know, this is Rob from the Lost Kings, and uh, I'm just super excited to have you on today. But first of all, I want to learn a little bit more about the Lost Kings in general. Tell me all about it, because you're currently on tour, right? Yeah, we're on tour. Uh, if you don't know us, we have we have been putting out music for a while. It's me and one other guy named Nick. Uh, we're a pro production duo, and we're on tour. We're in Denver next week, and... We were just in Texas, and basically we just we put out music and tour, and I get to play video games during the week as my my true passion project. <laughs> <laughs> forget forget DJing, you're exactly. gaming's number one. A hundred percent, one hundred percent. Love that. D DJing just allows me to play more games. I mean, it pays the bills so that you could buy more games to play. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely love that. So you mentioned that you do a lot of gaming. You yeah. play a little bit of FIFA slash FC. What other games do you play? I play Call of Duty a lot, uh, and I play PGA 2K23 the majority of the time. All right, golf. Yeah, I'm soccer, I, I'm, a, I'm a big <laughs> soccer shooter and golf. I, All right. I'm a classy gamer. <laughs> I love that. No, I have absolutely elevated love that. Taste. <laughs> no, that's fantastic. Um, so tell me a bit more about the tour. Like, how many total locations is it? How long is it lasting? What what can people expect if they see you on tour? So the thing with like DJing itself is. The touring never ends really for us we'll go on like you know like a branded tour where we're like we're doing these 20 dates but that doesn't mean after that that we're like we're not stopping so right now we're just kind of on a never-ending every weekend type tour where it's just uh you know a lot of nightclubs because nightclubs need people to play it so uh Hopefully by summertime we'll have like a branded tour where we're in certain cities that we don't play often. But right now it's like uh, basically every weekend all over the country. That's sick. No, that's that's really cool. Do yeah. you have like a favorite set that you've ever played at? Um, we played last year or two years ago now. No, last year we played Coachella. Um, no big deal. Yeah, <laughs> casual. And so, so for me that was like the most sentimental one. That we played because that was the first festival that I had ever gone to as just a fan. Um, and it was actually like right after Nick and I had met. I went to Coachella for the first time and uh, I remember texting him being like, we're going to play this one day. And, uh, you know, 
we had just started and we'd say it to like our friends and everything and they'd be like no you're not uh <laughs> like they just looked at us like you're, you're stupid but uh that so when we actually got booked for that that was like one of the most meaningful shows i think for sure and then we played uh Lollapalooza too which i think like energy wise and crowd wise um that was unbeatable the crowd was like my favorite crowd we've ever played to what year did you play at Lollapalooza? We played right out of the pandemic, so 2021. Okay. I think I was there because I live in Chicago, so I go almost every year. I try not to miss it, but I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it was there. That's, so you were probably there. It was like the year, I think, like Post Malone headlined. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of the other headliners that were there, but like um, Jack Harlow was there. Uh, there was a bunch of different different acts, but yeah, it was 2021 right out of the pandemic. That's so sick. So at what point because you said that you're a gamer but you also do the dj stuff yep but you also played sports growing up but like at what point were you like music this is what i want to do because it seems like you're good at a lot of different things uh i i i definitely talk myself up i'm not good at a lot of things i'm, I'm good at few but uh i would say i knew i wanted to do music like right outside of college and okay. I had studied theater in, in school. I went to James Madison and moved out to LA. And uh, I started like DJing around, I, I used to DJ my fraternity parties. And then I started DJing around LA when when I first moved out there to pay the bills and started getting more and more gigs. I'm like, oh, there may be like something in this, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not the, like, I'm not the music maker. I, I, want, I was learning how to produce, but my skill set was in DJing. And then I met Nick, who went to Berkeley College of Music, uh, and he was like the perfect yin to my yang. Like he knew exactly how to do the things I didn't, and okay. uh, and he wanted to learn how to DJ. Uh, so we we linked together. We're like we kind of want to do the same thing. We have similar tastes, but uh, we do very separate things that we need. And so then we decided to pair up. Hmm. Well, I mean, it obviously is working for you guys. So that's sick. No, that's that's really really cool to see how it all started but so growing up you played sports you played soccer i, I didn't so the okay. way I, the reason i really got into the soccer was uh i like fell in love it must have been like 2005 or 2006 maybe was the world cup i think the the Fr france italy world cup with the zidane headbutt mm -hmm. um is when i like fell in love with the game and I was like, oh, my God, what have I been missing? And at the time, uh, there was a TV channel called Fox Soccer. like, and, and you had to, like, subscribe to it. And I made my dad, like, subscribe. And uh, I fell in love with France and Thierry Henry. And that's how I became a proud, proud Arsenal. Oh, fan. no. See, this, uh -huh. this is, I don't know why I asked him to be on the show, guys. <laughs> I, I had to make sure I left. <laughs> So um, it's Henri. Henri got you into Henri, Arsenal. Henri, okay. yeah. Henri, and I, I had a soft spot for, like, for the French team at that time because a lot of them were Arsenal players. Um, so it just made sense for me to start rooting there. But I played baseball growing up. That was my sport. Um, okay. Yeah, I played baseball uh, up, in, up until college. But um, I fell in love with soccer. Just It was too late for me to play makes sense yeah to like really want to play I, I studied abroad in london and that was like my most fun because i got to play soccer like on a daily basis but i was so bad did you go I, to any games when you were in london yeah I, I went to emirates like three different times so i got to go that's awesome yeah i went to a champions league game um and then a couple other games so it was amazing like I, and, and when they didn't have a game i just go up to the bars up there nice yeah so oh, that was awesome sick. Um, so what are you thinking about Arsenal's current form? Do you think that they can uh, surpass City? Because it's close. It's super close. It's really close. I think, and they just had a great game against Liverpool, which was a, a huge win for them and a big boost of confidence. Uh, I think it's just a health thing. that If they can stay healthy, they have uh, Tomiyasu coming back and Yarn Timber, who like missed the entire season, and Partey. If those guys come back, like that's like three big signings. And nobody did over anything over the transfer window. So we could really get a lot stronger. That being said, Man City is unbelievable, and you have to play perfect for the rest of the season to win. And if yeah. you, So it's a tough task. Do I think we could do it? Yes, but it's going to be tough. 
Yeah, for sure. So how devastated were you last year when you guys bottled it? <laughs> what do you, I, I blacked out last year. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people black out trauma? Uh, I, w- I would I would say uh, I, don't, I don't remember anything from, from, from that, from like April on. Uh, it was horrible because obviously going into the year, we didn't think we'd be in that point. So if you told us at the beginning of the year, would you take Champions League and being in the top, you know, top three, you're obviously because we hadn't been good, like good like that for a while, but you lead the whole way and it's in your hands. You have some easy games and you, you just choke. It was, uh, it was so hard to watch. But that being said with like this year, having Declan Rice and some, you know, some more experience, like this team's so young. They didn't have anybody who's won anything. You know, at that time, I like Jesus had one with City, but he was on the bench, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, so like we didn't really have a guy to like lead us. And I think like now you have some of those guys, you have experience. It's it's just a health thing. Although, uh, although I don't love this whole goalkeeper controversy with David Raya and Aaron Ramsdale. Yeah, I see. I don't like it because I had Ramsdale on my FPL for the longest time and I didn't know who to put. So I kept going back and forth between the two. Right. Um, and so I just took them both off. I was like, I can't deal with Arsenal right now. <laughs> yeah, it just makes no sense. Like, it makes no sense to me. Raya plays the ball better, like, out of the out of the area and makes some better passes. But Ramsdale makes some saves that I don't think Raya can make. And so... You, you watch some of the goals Raya lets in. I'm like, I don't think Ramsdale lets that in. But they they killed his they killed his self-belief because, like, now when they put him in, he's so shaky. Yeah. You know, yeah, he's I feel like, like that happens to, do... to a lot of goalkeepers. Yeah. If like they get you, taken out. Yeah, exactly. You pulled him. He doesn't know what to do really anymore. Like, he's not in a rhythm, and he's, like, trying to show why he should be the starter. It's, like, it's such a bad combination. So that was a little iffy move, especially when we didn't, when we didn't need to make a move there and could have used that money on a striker, uh, I would have rather that. Like, Ivan Tony, I was hoping that we got him. Is that your dream signing? No, it would have been my dream signing in January, like, now. Yeah, yeah. It's not, you know, for the rest of the, the, rest of the season, just to have someone. It's not my dream signing, like, come, come the year end. But mm-hmm. um, uh, for right now, I was like, man, if we could get him for the, just the, the last six months, you know, four months, whatever it is. I was like, that would be a great signing for us. But no, he's not the dream. So who's the dream? Um, I mean, I, I think you, you would have to just find the right striker for like for us. Like I, I know uh, they've been saying like, I think Vlahovic is a name that they've been throwing around. Um, would you take like a, an Mbappe or does he have too much ego? I, I mean, I think anybody would, you know, at that point you would have to take have to take him just because he's so talented um but like uh what what's the guy from true mendy from real madrid Chumendi, uh, yeah yeah he like they got linked to him at the beginning of the season like somebody like that uh would be an amazing signing but um yeah mbappe would be you know you need arsenal need somebody who can finish like holland you know yeah. like or or somebody on that compare you know where it's like if they get a chance, they're scoring. And yeah, you can't like save... a Lewandowski, Harry Kane, yeah, like, like that type of caliber. Yeah, like the guy that you just know is going to finish when he gets his opportunity. Like we're playing Kai Havertz up front right now, and he gets himself into great positions. Like he he played really well against Liverpool, but like that man, it takes him 17 opportunities to finish one ball. Yeah. And that can hurt you when you're playing the good teams. Like he needs to put away that the chances. So – if you can get somebody who can get into those positions and score, I think that would be, like, the really only thing Arsenal needs. They have, I think, the best defense now, rate, like, goals let in uh, in the entire Premier League. And so it's really just finishing. Yeah. You know, no, you I have mean, the, you, you guys scare me a bit, so. <laughs> good, good. I mean, we're going to be good for, I think, as long as we keep our team, we're going to be good for a while. It's just, like, adding a couple pieces here and there and, you know they're gonna grow up together it's their young and now an experienced team which is a dangerous combo yeah i mean you look at city right we're we're stacked 
Liverpool is falling apart. Klopp wants to leave. But I think you guys are on the come up while Liverpool is going down. I think yeah. City will stay stagnant. So it'll be a, a battle between the two of us. Yeah, I for think it's going to be a battle years. for a, it's going to be a battle for a while. We, in Arsenal has to play perfect football to to overtake them. Can it happen for a year? Maybe. You know, it it, it, could, it could happen. You just got to catch them when the, when they're down. We beat them once already. Yep. We got to beat them again. <laughs> just in case you forgot, we did we did beat City this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I, I blocked that one out of my brain. You blocked all of 2023 out, and I just block out that one day, so it's fine. <laughs> um, question for you. Do you follow the men's national team at all? Yeah. So I have an idea for you, and I think that it would be the coolest thing. So obviously, 2026, North America, World Cup. Yep. You guys should DJ at, like, every location. How cool would that be? It would be so sick. Yeah, that would, would that be, be so, like the dream? That'd be the dream. We've done like some similar stuff like that for like the Super Bowl, and we've been able to do some cool stuff uh, at like Ravens games and stuff. But that would be unbelievable, especially because it's the worldwide market. So you know, like so many people from different countries love dance music, so it makes sense for us. And yeah. get to go to you know L.A., New York, Miami. Go down to go to Miami, go down to Mexico. It'd be so cool. Yeah, no, no, I think that the 2026 World Cup is going to be such a massive increase for people even liking soccer in North America. I'm so excited. 100%, because I feel like the World Cup does that in general, but it's in, obviously in different places. But you still feel that buzz around the U.S. where it's like people are really into it, and, and, and it grows the game a bit. Having it here and live and getting to see those atmospheres, I think is going to you know blow it up. Yeah, I think so too. I've been like patiently waiting for when the tickets are about to drop because I'm about to enter that lottery as soon as it oh, is same, live. Because they're going to be so hard to get. I can't wait. I went to um one of the game. I went to the Arsenal Barcelona game actually at SoFi in LA this year, and watching the game there is awesome. So I can't imagine like the atmosphere was actually good for a friendly. So mm -hmm. like you put a World Cup game in some of these stadiums, it's going to be like electric. It's going to be wild. Even it even is. if the U.S. isn't playing, it's still going to be wild because oh, I do yeah. feel I like I just want to go to go. Yeah, and a lot of Americans still root for other countries because they have like heritage in other countries. So either way, it's about to be so much fun. I think it's going to be so cool. Actually, a, a cool World Cup story that we had. So we played um, Ultra Croatia when Croatia was had like the dream run, run. So like two World yeah. Cups ago. Yeah. In um our game, our, our show was during the game to qualify for the finals. And so we got to tell the stadium that they won like midway through our set that they were going to the finals. So somebody came out and gave us a flag and we got to tell the crowd that was there that like they had advanced while like waving the flag. It's like one of the coolest moments to like celebrate a, a, a country like that, making it to the finals and actually being there and seeing the impact. It's like, you think like a Super Bowl's big, but it's like, it's yeah. nothing in comparison to the when the country makes like a final of a World Cup. It's not even close. It's funny that you say that because I am I root for Croatia in the World Cup, oh, and no so way. I was going insane that day. I was actually at an English pub, and it was England versus Croatia in the semifinal, and obviously Croatia beat them. And so I'm the only person standing on a table waving my Croatia flag oh, as all like God. the England fans are around me like in tears. It was crazy. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, that was one of the coolest runs, like, ever yeah. for, for them to make it as far as they did. Uh, nope. And that's, like, the, the beauty, I think, of the World Cup is you always find, like, the underdog team that, like, makes a run. They're so much fun to watch. Yeah, I think Croatia is underestimated because they did decent in the last World Cup as well. But it, it yeah. is fun to see. Like, Morocco last World Cup was decent. They oh, made Morocco it was so much fun to watch. Yeah, especially when your nation is out. It's always fun to root for the underdog. 100%. Like, I want to see them beat, like, the big teams. Yeah, like, take down France, Argentina, Brazil. <laughs> exactly. It's one of those things. Like, if we go down, I want to see everybody else crumble. Like, I, yeah. I, I want pain for everyone on a country the similar level as us. I want pain. And then I want to see I want to see the young you know the 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 underdog countries win. Yeah, totally. Um, okay, so next segment we're gonna do a little bit of a this or that. So I'm just going to name two different things and then okay. quick answer. Choose which one you want. You could have a little bit of an explanation, um, okay. but they're super super simple. Makes sense. Okay. All right. First one we have is U.S. Men's National Team win a World Cup 
or Arsenal win the Prem? Arsenal win the Prem. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I need an explanation. I, I can't, I can't so just get I, that answer. I, I started rooting for Arsenal after, like two seasons probably after the Invincibles season. So I've never seen them win anything like in my lifetime. Obviously, it would be amazing for the USA to win, but I'm so much more like I go to England to watch the Arsenal games. Like it's like they're they're my probably my, my favorite sports team out of any sports team, um, of like all the American sports. So to see them win, I I want to see them win the Prem because I've never seen it. All you know, right. I have never I've never seen seen it. I think the best finish I've seen them ever have was last season uh, in. 20 plus years of rooting for them so yeah uh I, as much as i would i would like to see the usa win i i also i want to see our fans level increase before that the you the then we can deserve that but that's fair you know for how many countries really want it that respect the game usa needs to grow a little bit and in that growth I'll take an Arsenal Premier Premier League win. <laughs> All right, I respect it. The club passion is there. Yeah. I, I, just unfortunate that's it's for Arsenal, but we'll look past that. <laughs> um, all right, next one: score a game-winning goal or save a game-winning penalty. Save a penalty. Interesting choice. So I, every time that I, the reason for that is because every time I was playing soccer over in England, or I like played indoor for my uh, fraternity intramural team, I was so bad at everything else other than go playing goalie so okay. that's, the, that's the only thing I, I say this all the time i'm like i could have been a goalie if i had, if i had started early like all right i played baseball so some of those things transfer over uh so i just envision myself saving a penalty more than ever scoring a goal <laughs> all right i mean both are very very exciting things so i respect yeah. it yeah all right, next up. So this is in reference to FC24. Okay. Ultimate team or kickoff slash seasons mode? Uh, ultimate team. All right. Yeah, I like playing like the, the manager and being able to assemble the squad that you want. Nice. All right, next up. Five-star skills or five-star weak foot? Oh, I would say five-star skills. Can make Agreed. your team. You can make your team a lot better uh, having the skills than just having a, a good weak foot. Nice. And then, so this one might be difficult. Coachella or Lollapalooza? Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's not fair. Um. Oh shit. Let's go. I'm gonna go Lollapalooza. Yeah. Love that. I I, I love. I mean I. I obviously love playing Coachella, but there was something about the crowd at, at Lollapalooza that was just like, nothing has matched it in any show that we've played. Um, nothing's matched the energy. And then also like that for an artist like us, like that's a big place for you to grow. And people are really there to see the music as opposed to some of the, you know, like Coachella, there's the music, but it's being on social media. I need to get my photos. I need this, I need that. Uh, and it's less about the actual music. And I think, like, the, the people who appreciated the music was at Lollapalooza. Love that option, as I'm from Chicago. So, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> and last one, Messi or Ronaldo? Uh, I think Messi takes it now because he has a World Cup. I think that was, like, the one thing that separated, the, you know, is like, oh, well, so-and-so. It's like he has the Trump card now. And, he, and he's, he's helping grow the game in America. All right. Uh, so I agreed with four out of five of those. So that was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> nice. Um, okay. So just so everyone knows, next up, we are going to be playing co-op rivals. He is on PC. And so I had, we kind of worked together. I literally sent him screenshots of all of my clubs. So we built the team ahead of time. So Rob, if you want to pull up my stream, I'm going to pull up the team on okay. my thing. And then we could just talk through it if that cool. works. All right, so let's chat quickly about the lineup. All right. So let's pull up the squad here. Um, let's just go into Rivals, pull it up. All right, 
So this is the squad that uh, he has concocted here. So talk me through it. You very, very quickly said Holland and Henri. And so yeah. curious about those options first. I just thought it was a dynamic two up front. I, ha I had to put Henri in the, in the lineup no matter what. Uh, just because uh, uh, I'm a diehard and and I have so many memories of playing with him like as a kid when I you know with FIFA like tw 12 13 so yeah. I just wanted him in the in the game but I think him and Holland are a good pairing because Henri you obviously have the speed and then you have the big body with Holland so you can kind of attack from both both ways uh, and I wanted to go for a lot of chemistry and so I went with the the Don Cantona and uh, Mbappe uh, midfield. So we're, we're, we're riding with the French, French and I think connection. just French connection. We have a lot of speed and we have a lot of skill. And so I think it's like a deadly, you can kind of get killed from all five of them. Nice. Um, but knowing that we're going to play offensively, I wanted probably the best defensive midfielder in the game. And I had to throw a man, another Man City player in there for you. <laughs> Love so that. We, we went Rodri uh, with, in, in Man City uh, just to give us that extra protection when we push up front. And then uh, all I asked for defense was I wanted speed. Yep. Uh, I, I like we have that. Yeah, exactly. I think we have that. We have threats on the wings, um, which help, you know, getting them in play. And my issue with this game and is that I used to always push my defense up or take control of them and just kind of spam the turbo button. And you can't play that way. So, uh, you know, I wanted speed to recovery because if we have a slow defense, like, you know, we're kind of we're kind of screwed. And, yeah. then, and, and then Allison ha have the Brazilian connection. And then uh, he was just like the highest rated goalie. Nice. Well, I respect it. This team is very, very solid. I'm sure that if you went up against someone else in weekend league, they'd be very afraid of this team. <laughs> I think, yeah, this is a scary team. Like if when it loads for somebody and you see who you're playing, like I wouldn't be too happy. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so that is the squad that we are working with. So let's uh, send an invite and get into a game. Have you ever played 2v2? Uh, not on this, but, but I have played 2v2 before. Nice. Like on It's very different than playing 1v1. And I, I find it super interesting because some people come into it and they're like, wait a second. Because <laughs> you're like trying to player switch. Can't really do that. You have to rely on your, your teammate. So right, we'll see how it goes. because it goes back and forth almost. Yep, exactly. All right. Invite is officially sent. Also, everyone in the chat, just so you guys know, if you have questions for our guy Rob here, we will have a community section at the end of our gameplay. And so I have a couple questions from Instagram and Twitter, but if you guys have any questions, make sure to keep them in there in your brain and then type them when I let you guys know, um, cause we will be answering all sorts of questions. All right. Division Let's rivals. All right. All right. Let's see if we could find an opponent. Oh, and that's quick. All right. Wow. Yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> now you are in LA, so our connection might be a bit, yeah, a bit it, worrisome. <laughs> we may have some ping issues going on. It's okay. We'll we'll work with it. Yeah, we'll we'll get through it. All right. Also, chat, let me know if the game sound is too loud or too quiet. I added it instead of music for this uh, for this one. All right. Um, so you are blue. Blue. Okay. Yep. start nice Paul Blom is actually so good Woo! oh let's go do you 
have a go-to celebration? Uh, I used to. I don't know how to do it in this one. It was just kind of like the dead fish where you could dive <laughs> yeah. on your side. I don't know if they have it in this. I haven't found it. The I one think I've they done do, the... but you have to buy it. Got it. The one I've done the most is the, uh, the teacup. The teacup. That is a good one. Shout out to uh, the women's national team. Nice. Right. Allison, go on. I haven't actually used Allison yet, so this will be the first time I'm actually using him. I have to thank. I, you know why I put him in the team is actually because of the, the gift of a goal he gave Arsenal the other day. <laughs> as a thank you? <laughs> yeah, as a thank you. <laughs> oh, that was a horrible pass. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> All good. Still winning. Nice. That's right back in the game. There we go. All right. This is a better start than any of our other guests. All right, there we go. It's true. Yeah, we got scored on very, very quick on all of the other shows. So you're doing, you're doing well. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, we jinxed no, it. No, no. That was a hard okay. jinx. All good. All good. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, Case, you're too loud. I think you should mute and let Rob be the only person talking. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> All right. I see ya. Okay, none of these passes are connecting. Oh, there we go. All right. Oops. Still you. Ooh, nice try. Cantona is one of the most clunky players in the game, I will say that. Is he? Yeah. Oh, then You'd think he would be fast, but I, I think it's just his body type. Like, he's such a big dude. Let's get him out. All right. We'll, go, we'll get somebody faster in there. All right. We'll do that at halftime. Oh, man. All right. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit forward. You know when you like put your forehead into the, oh, into the I, screen. Oh, that's what I do. <laughs> my, my head's in the in the screen. Yep. You can only see like a part of your forehead in the camera. Yep. That's that's about to be what's happening. That's where we gotta lock in. Yep. All right, Holland. Oh, <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. There we go. We're back. We are back. Thank you, Holland. Do you rage at all when you play? Oh uh, yeah, uh, literally like when I was like trying to get good at this game, it, 
I, I had a couple screaming fits. <laughs> we all do it, don't worry. Yeah. Like, I don't get mad in real life a lot, but in video games, it brings out just, I, like, I see red so much. Yeah. Give me that. Oh, that was a bad pass by me, sorry. Oh, good. Oh, and I just blocked your shot. That is absolutely I, devastating. I think, I think it went out on him. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Nice. I feel like Colin should be not taking this. I and, also agree. Right? Get him in the middle. Yep. All right, nice. that's, that's a good one. All right, we take that. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's let's make some subs or at least one. Yeah. Um, let's do. Okay, I know that you don't watch too much women's football. However, I want to introduce you to one of the best players in the entire game. Her name is Caroline Graham Hansen. So, um, so she's so um, good. When we made the teams, I didn't know that you could do co-ed teams. Oh yeah, that's new this year. So yeah, FC twenty four, they introduced no, it this year. I had no clue. So let's let's get him in. All right, perfect. Yeah, so she plays for Barcelona. She is cracked. She's so okay. good. Awesome. That's what we need right now. We do. All right, let's do it. Oh, terrible. My bad. All good. There we go. All right. I'm going to go to the right. Okay, that's not where I wanted that. That's fine. Nice. I mean, she's so fast. She is, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could, you could just tell the difference between... All right, why do I keep sending it all the way back? Between her and uh, Cantona. Oh, again. Oh. Stay on our feet. Hit. Oh, man. All right. We got this. Come on. Yeah. Get it right back. Nice try. Uh, why is Holland taking? I don't know. All right. I'm going to pull him back a little bit. Ooh, that's just. Woo! Let's go. There that's... we go. Good switch on that. <laughs> there we go. Nice. He doesn't miss Holland, by the way. No. In the air, no one can defend him. Not even Virgil Van Dyke. That was perfect. There you go. Boom. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, oh, 
know why she took the extra touch. Okay, I see the skills. Oh, nice try. <laughs> I, had to, nice I had to bust it out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky little roulette. <laughs> like Same thing. Nice. Ooh, so you Oh. Oh no. I feel like I was confused over who had possession. Yeah, it it definitely was. I noticed like the computer doesn't step to the ball. Really. No, you have to actually you have to actually tackle, but I don't know. Defending is really difficult this year. It's just it's just a really, really hard thing to learn. Alright, seventy fifth right. minute. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, that's you, that's you, that's you. Come Ooh, on! Nice! 4-4, four, four. okay. Let's go! We're not bad. We're not bad. Oh! We're right in it. <laughs> and I am running up the ring with Rodri. Interesting. <gasps> oh, nice try. Nice try. All right, let's get it. Tried to add my own skills in there. Oh my god. What is that animation? Oh, I save. Oh no. No, no way. No way. Nah, 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 nah. All right, we're going constant. Once we, uh. once we turn the ball over. All right, we got time. We got time. Oh man, I feel like you've had so many opportunities. I know. We've outplayed this per the other we person. We really have. Our expected goals have to be through the moon. We got time. Oh no, it didn't lock onto Holland. Oh, 
That is just devastating. We were the better opponent. Oh, my. oh man. Oh well. No, honestly though, we played really good. We did. We're never playing with each other. No, for real. Yeah, that was decent. We All had, right, let's see what we had way is. more chances than them. We did. All right, let's see. Match facts. I, I always have to look at this. Yeah, um, see, that's not true. <laughs> it says 16 shots, but only 3.6 expected goals. That's that's not right. 16 shots, though, by the way, and only four goals. That is that is sad. That is insane. Oh, well. All right. Okay, we're going to get him back. We'll, we'll get next up, next one. All right. Let's play one more co-op, and then we could go up against each other in seasons. It'll okay. be Man City versus Arsenal. All right. A lot of pressure um, on my back. Yeah, <laughs> You're not bad, though. I saw the roulette. <laughs> I, I got one move. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. All right. Um, uh, send the invite. I just got disconnected real quick. No Is worries. Re reconnecting. It says connecting to ultimate team is not possible at the moment. Um, maybe dashboard the game, so exit out of the game and then go back in. Okay. Sometimes it gets glitchy like that. So, do you have an MLS team that you support? Um, so I, I'm from Boston originally. So, like, uh, uh, there was a time where I used to root for like the Revolution when like Taylor mm -hmm. Wellman and Shari Joseph. Was, those are some names that I like. Some throwbacks. Throwback names. <laughs> That I really used to like enjoy supporting. Um, now I, I I have a friend who used to play for Miami, so I root for him. Um, and then uh, sometimes root for the Galaxy. Okay. I don't I don't, I don't really have like a set team anymore. Mm. LA is good. LAFC is decent. Yeah, they're better so, than the Galaxy. Yeah. Because <laughs> LAFC has. Or no, who who has Gareth Bale? Uh, no one anymore. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, but um, there you go. He, yeah, he used he used to play. <laughs> uh, I'm just uh, restarting it now. Okay, let me know when you're back in, and I can resend the invite. Yeah, I'm a big uh, Chicago Fire fan. Are they any good? No, <laughs> not at all. Actually, they're really bad. <laughs> But um, yeah, we have season. My family has season tickets, so oh, trying to awesome. get to as many games as possible. Yeah. But uh, Man City has my heart. All right. Um, Is it letting you back in? Yeah, it's low. It's the game's just loading now. Okay. Cool. All right, got a question for you as your okay. game loads in. What's your favorite mashup that you guys have ever done? Do you have a favorite? Ooh. We've done, so like mashups, we've done so many of. Yeah. We'll like make them for different shows and different sets. Um, we, we did this remix for Vance Joy called, Ooh. okay, hold on, it's just loading. This says I'm disconnected. I think I should be good now. Um, you want to send me a game in invite and then I'll answer yep. the question. Sure, sure. Um, there you are. Cool. Sent. There we go. Uh, I should be in now. Um, yeah, so we, we did this uh, remix for Vance Joy called Wasted Time, which is like one of my favorite remixes that we've done. And then we put uh, the Rihanna Refound Love vocals over it. And that was like a staple in our set for forever. Yeah. Uh, I love I love the way how those uh, two two songs have worked together. So that'd probably be up there in like my favorite mashups that we've done. Nice. I was uh, I was scrolling through your guys' IG and I, there was one recently that I was like, this is great because I'm actually so I'm a closet country music fan. Okay. <laughs> so I I think you guys just posted one the other day, just, right? So so we just did the um, Luke Combs uh, fast car. Yeah. We just made a mashup with that. Uh, because of like, it was obviously going, that song's a classic. And then with the Grammy performance, we're like, 
All right, we need to get something out with this vocal right now because it will do well online. So we made yeah. one, we made one. Nice. Wait, so how quickly can you turn around a song for, like that? For like a mashup, it it's like kind of a quick process because it's it's literally just like trying to set the vocal in place with like a song that's already made. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's it's not some are harder than others, but it's not like some insane process. Okay, makes uh, sense. As, as opposed to like a remix where we're like making everything from scratch around yeah. the vocal. And I'm sure that you guys have been doing it for so long, so it's kind of just like second nature. Yeah. Kind of just like run through Especially it really Especially the mashups, like we'll throw around ideas and, you know, make it and we'll make three in a day, you know, in a day for yeah. the set. Yeah, totally. All right, let's get this win. Ooh. Try to ball roll. That was a dangerous pass. It was a dangerous pass. Oh my goodness. Allison, thank you so much. They are pressing like crazy. Oh, he's off side. Ah. Uh. Good. I didn't give you much space. Oh. Nice. No. Oh, Rio, what are you doing? Oh my it's goodness. A ball. <laughs> back with him you just gotta go straight to the goal yeah just straight at it i'm off oh ref uh red Yellow. sir do i try to hit this yeah do it The great attempt. That was close. <laughs> great shot. In. Oh. <gasps> Can't I? Right, I'm gonna have to sub him. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take him off. He's off again. <laughs> I don't trust him at this point. Oh my goodness, this man. I could have taken that. Oh, so Ooh. no one can shoot. It's fine. Uh, it, it, <laughs> I feel like we're defending a bit better. This, this yeah. Game. Watch, watch us get. What was that? Allison is actually bailing us out.
there was no one in the midfield there. Yeah, there was no one in the middle. No way! No way! How are they gonna call that That's advantage? That's insane, ref. Nah, 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 nah. That's insane. We were through on goal. That's just, that's not. Nah. I gave it right back. I, I was too distracted. That, that was a. <laughs> I, the rage took over. I'm literally <laughs> speechless. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Nah, that's actually the worst call in all of football. That's that's crazy. I thought they were calling it offside. Yeah, so did I. That's actually insane. Okay. Oh. I'm just gonna boot it. Yeah. I got nervous. <laughs> okay. All right. They they actually can't shoot, so we need. Oh, we we're all right. Them. We're okay. Let's go. There we go. Let's go. There we go. Come on. Nice. All right. More of that. Ooh, you're through. Oh, nice try. There we go. Let's nice. Go. Nice. There we go. All right. I feel good this game. Yep. Okay. Mbappe. Let's nice. Go. Let's wow, we're go. actually cooking. Are, are they going to quit? I think they're quitting. I think they're quitting. They don't want the smoke. <laughs> Maybe not. Hey, there hey, we go. Bye -bye. Beautiful. All right, that was redemption. That was good. That was fantastic. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Cool. All right. Are you ready to play me? All right, let's go. <laughs> do you want to do uh, City versus Arsenal? I feel like we have to. All right. This will determine who will actually win the Prem this year. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, not, right. I'm not playing for those stakes. <laughs> That's too much on the line. A hundred percent. Um. All right. Where am I going for this? Online friendly. New friendly season. There you go. All right. Invite is sent. And it's perfect because it already starts off on Man City. So. <laughs> and game invite. They were all rooting for us in the chat. Oh, great. Hey, that was a good game right there. <laughs> it was a good game. All right. I will go with that one. Also, by the way, this Arsenal kit, one of the worst kits to ever exist. I love it. I love <laughs> no. it. Yeah. You know what it is, though? If you see it, in, it, it doesn't translate well on TV. I saw it in person. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I like this. And then I uh, liked it so much that I asked for it for Christmas, and we ordered it from the uh, from the Arsenal shop, and uh, it still isn't here. So Arsenal, oh, if really? you're listening, yeah, two months now <laughs> for my Declan Rice jersey. It's kind of insane. Jeez. 
That is unfortunate. Yeah. Declan it, Rice, too. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. I, I, lo I love watching him play. Yeah, he's he's decent. Especially now that he's healthy again. Yeah. It, he just, like, adds such a dynamic to our team. He's, like, the – he's so steady. Yeah. And he's, sure. like, w whenever you need him, you're, like, oh, my God, he's he's – He's somehow in position. Um. All right. Don't know why it put Rodri at right wing, but that will be fine. We're going to have him on. All right. Are you still making changes? I'm um, good now. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. I feel good. All right, chat. Score predictions. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Based off that performance, you're actually really good. I think that you are uh, underselling no, yourself I'm not, on this game. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, the intricacies to the game. Like, the, like, when to make run. You know, like, the settings and locked players. Like, I don't know that. I just know, like, hold turbo. Maybe hit a spin move. Yeah. Well, That's I feel like you it. also play, like, real football, which isn't always the best thing in this game because they're, like, you kind of have to play to, like, the glitches, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's definitely a different dynamic. Not a good start. Not a good start. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Holland is almost impossible to defend. It's the comeback story here. Yeah, yeah. The redemption arc. I thought it was going to be too really <laughs> fast. I wish I didn't pick these jerseys because I'm literally blending into the. Oh, right yeah, because it's green. <laughs> That's true. I didn't think of that. It's not, They're like the same exact color. Yeah. Probably would have been better off with the red. Why do I try to skill move with Ruby? Oh, that, yes. What is that pass? Oh no, that's unlucky. I'm so sorry. That was that was a bad goal. It's that okay. was that was bad. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Talk a run, dude. Please get the ball out. See, that's one of my biggest uh, issues with this game is you get a good tackle and it instantly deflects back to Just the right other to attacker. The... Yeah. It's frustrating. Yeah. How come I haven't seen that uh that one skill move? <laughs> I'm saving it for when it really matters.
Oh, not good. <laughs> not good. <laughs> I still have faith. I, I mean, there's plenty faith. of time. There's, there's, plenty, there's of time. plenty of time left. Anything could happen. <laughs> it could be 10 nothing. That's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, we got a shot. We got it. We're on the board. <laughs> The defending's just so much harder. Yeah, it is. All right. Okay. Two shots. Oop. Oof, okay. Try. Okay. Ederson is too good. Who did you end up choosing for your goalkeeper? Uh, I went with Ramsdale. As oh, you can okay. see, he's he's really kept me in it. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing nervous. He's very nervous. There you go. No. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> he was ready with the celebration. I'm dead. <laughs> Love that. That's the club fashion right there. Yeah, there it is. I had it cute. I just needed one. <laughs> <laughs> so if you didn't score one, would you have been super disappointed? That's <laughs> all I wanted, honestly. <laughs> no, he doesn't even care if he wins. He just yeah, he got no, to no, uh, play his song. I didn't even see him. I tried to steal your skill move. Oh, that's such a bad pass. Oh, that sucks. The giving it back it, right after you win a tackle is, is yep. so it's disheartening. It's so frustrating. Yeah. It's like, it's like you did all of that work to finally get a good tackle in because it's not right. easy to get a good tackle and then you just give it straight back. Right back. How's it good to try? Hey, we're, we're learning. I feel like now I have to get uh, some Man City chants out. Right? <laughs> I, inspi I inspired the stream now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Four one. Could be worse. Yeah. It could definitely be worse. <laughs> Are you going to make any subs? I think I have to. I got to go for it, right? I think so. What por what, what uh, formation are you playing? I was in 4-3-3 holding, which I don't know why. I thought I put it as 4-3-3 attack, but mm. we'll change, change it. change it now? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to change it now. I think hmm. I might keep mine for now. Maybe I'll go... No, it's fine. Maybe we'll put in Julian Alvarez in like the 75th minute. All right. I think that's good. Yeah. I'm just making one change right now. Cool. Okay. Not great. <laughs> Not great right there. My Croatian cousin. Oh no. Oh, Ooh, Ramsdale! Why doesn't make that save? <laughs> <laughs> it is Can crazy though, those? in the game, they rank uh, Ramsdale so much higher than Raya still. Yeah, I think it's also when the game came out. Oh, it's not like updated? Yeah, it's not constantly updated. Got it. So I, I'm assuming that like September time, he was 
at the time rated higher slash got more playtime. You gotta score some more goals or else Arsenal are gonna lose the league this year. No, no, <laughs> I, I didn't agree to that. <laughs> Ederson. Like, all, all he had to Run. do was catch the ball. He, he just had to catch the ball. Run. <sighs> all right. We got a game in our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's terrible. No, oh. no. Oh my right. god. <laughs> oh. Take that one time. All right, Bernardo. <gasps> oh, that was a bit dangerous. I feel like you're getting better at defending even as we're playing this game. I'm starting to figure it out a little bit. Just of like, I'm just so used to pulling my guys where you just have yeah. to put them in way more, like, put them in position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have, to bit, you have to do a bit more work. The AI just doesn't do it all for you. Yeah. Good tackle. Ooh. I mean, my guys don't want to run. It's so weird. I feel like you have a bit of pace on the team. A couple of slow guys, but... Yeah. Martinelli and Saka are fast. Other than that, they're not the fastest team in the world. Hmm. Uh, get up. Get in. Oh, so close. Okay, come on. Just get one. Got eight minutes left. That's not going to do it. There we go. What is that ball? Why did you play it back? Oh, no. Rush that. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no. Come on! Oh. No, 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 no. I'm not about to. No, no, Come no. on! All right, I'm sitting forward. I'm sitting forward. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many minutes are left? Like two in game minutes? Let's see. One more! Okay. All right. We can't lose this. There's no way I, I blow a lead like that. I viciously hand over the ball. Um. No way. Let's no go! way! No way! No way! No way! No way! Nah! No 90th minute cheese! That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this says about uh, Man City and Arsenal in the league then. Wow. <laughs> that was a good game. <laughs> no, that was actually so good. 4-4. Four, four. Hey, we take it. We absolutely take it. That was fun. That was fun. You're, you're so much better than what you say. <laughs> nah, that was, that was great. That was great. Um, okay. All right, chat. So if you guys have questions for Rob here, feel free to type them in the chat. Um, I have a couple questions from Instagram and Twitter, though, if you're ready for them. Let's do it. All right. So, and I have the names of everyone who has asked for them, too. So you might recognize some of the people. Okay. So first question is from our guy Zeno. He said, why do you think Arteta gets so much slack for celebrating victories? Um, I think because he's like, he's vocal about what he thinks. And he does tend to show up like another coach and just, and it's not like, I don't think it's on purpose either. I think he's just so passionate and wants the team to win. He has so much skin in the game um, that he just wants to show his belief, but obviously it can be a little showboating, you know, him running around the sidelines or anything as an Arsenal fan. I love it. Cause you can see the passion, <laughs> how much he loves the team. But yeah. if I was on the other side, uh, it would make me upset. And I think that's probably why people, you know, give give them crap, especially because people want to hate who went to and yeah. if Arsenal's winning. It's a easy thing to point at like, Oh, look at, he, he doesn't deserve it. He hasn't won the league, but I like the passion. No, I think it's funny because sometimes I look at him. I'm like, did you just win a world cup? Like <laughs> this is a, this is a random game on a Wednesday against right. Burnley. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's how he celebrates, but to his credit, like that's how he is for every game in, Seeing that type of passion, I think the reason why he does it is because Arsenal tend to take days off where they'll play Liverpool, look amazing, and then they'll play like a like a Brentford in tie. And you're like, yeah, where's where's that drop off? And I think it starts with him is he's trying to keep that energy up for the rest of the team to show an example. And so yeah. I like it. No, that's fair. I mean, I think that if you're an Arsenal fan, you love it. Everyone else hates it. So, hundred <laughs> percent. It's one of those yeah. things where if, if it's for you, you love it. If it's on the other side, like I can't stand you. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, we got a flash question in the chat from Diogo. Top three sports, in your opinion, what are your three favorite? Um, so my favorite to watch is is probably soccer, one basketball, one B, and then football. Probably, or actually, no. You know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back. Soccer one A, basketball one B, MMA as my Ooh, as my. Okay. Or, I, I I'm a huge UFC addict. I I nice. love the, I love fighting. So that would be up there. And then to play, the only sport that I play currently is golf. Nice, nice. Are you are you any good at golf? I'm getting better. So I had my lowest round of all time. I shot a 77 a couple weeks ago. Which for me is like, I've ne I had never broken like 86. So that was like a huge like, whoa. Yeah, that's massive. Yeah, and then I went back to shooting in the 90s. So it's it's like, I, I can be good on some days, but it's such a game that you need to play every day. Yeah. You know, it's a game of centimeters. So I'm getting better though. I was horrendous. Nice. Well, I'm sure that you'll keep getting better the more you play anyway. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just you just learn to like not make as big a mistakes. Yeah. I've never actually played golf. I've only done mini golf. So <laughs> um I I'm not very good at it, but um I actually I'm decent at mini golf though. So, but yeah. Hey, then that's all that matters. <laughs> and, and that's such a big 
it's funny because you, like you play mini golf for fun, but you don't realize like if you just get good at putting, yeah. how much of a difference that makes on like a course score. Like if you're putting well, you can like shoot low because you're you know, if you're not putting well, that could be three strokes each hole. So yeah, maybe you got to learn doing putt putt and then and then go from there. And actually, I did win a game of Top Golf, so that was actually very very fun. So have you ever gone Top Top Golf? Top golf is so much fun. I love it. It's so fun. Um. Okay. Next. Oh, this is a good question from JoJo. Dream place to do a show. Uh, the one spot that we haven't played yet that I want to is Red Rocks mm. in Colorado. It's so uh, pretty. Yeah. It's it's like a beautiful, iconic venue. We got booked to play a festival that usually in in the past had always been like it's always been at Red Rocks. And then uh, the year that we played it, they did it at Bronco Stadium. I'm like, why did they have to move it? Like, we we finally would have done it. Um, but Very different venues, good. those two. <laughs> Very different venues. Yeah. Very different venues. It's because they were just expecting more people, so they had to make it, like, a bigger spot. But uh, Red Rocks is definitely on the bucket list. Nice. Ooh, this is a good question. Um, so forget your current career, right? Yep. Would you rather, like, start over, would you rather have been a Premier League footballer or an NBA basketball player? Wow. Um, well, physically, I don't think I could be an NBA basketball player. I, I, like, I'm 6'3", but um, for NBA, that's just, like, so small. You could be a point uh, guard. Yeah, I could be a point guard, but that wasn't my game either. Like, I also – I was tall in high school, so they make you play center. Mm. It's like, that doesn't do me any good. Like you ended my career uh, <laughs> teaching a six three only post moves. Like I don't know why yeah. that was like the form of teaching. Yeah. Um, I think I think being a Premier League soccer player would be amazing. So I I, I would go I would go soccer. Also, London's my favorite city. So if nice. I got to live in London, then then I'm happy. And obviously, play for Arsenal. But yeah, exactly. No, exactly. that would be sick. It, it would be, um, be sick. Question from I, I believe this was Instagram uh, from a Swelly. Uh, he said, "What? No, this is actually on Twitter. What would it take to become a Spurs fan?" It never happened. Nothing. Like no, nothing could be offered for you to become mm, a Spurs fan. No, I my my loyalty cannot be bought. I yeah. mean, I feel the exact same way about Manchester United. So yeah, like, I, it, I I respect that. Like it, like you're gonna give me like money or something, but still, my heart's not gonna like. I'm not gonna just be like, yay, Tottenham. <laughs> you know, that's not gonna happen. It's okay. We all hate Spurs anyway, so yeah, at nobody least, likes uh, them. bond like, over that. <laughs> like, why would anybody root for them? <laughs> um, and then last question that we had from Instagram was from a Fremont Music. He said, "How are you so good at PGA 2K?" Uh, a lot of practice. I, I so that stream I was telling you about earlier. I don't think we were on stream, but I sat and did a hole in one challenge, and it took me eight hours. And so I played a, the game straight for eight hours, no water break. And uh, I would say that made me better because I had to figure out my swing. And then it's just translated since then. Nice. So, guys, everyone in the chat right now, if you guys are looking for some PGA content, he does stream it on TikTok every once in a while. So yep. keep an eye out for that. He's he's decent at it. Um, but no, that's cool. I, also, like, let's let's talk about your streaming in the future. Yeah. Um, will we get to see more of you on other platforms slash is streaming something that you're interested in? Yes. Yeah, starting, we actually like literally as we were playing, got like the actual confirmation date. So starting March 1st, we'll be on Twitch doing hey. like a lot of like music based streams. Um, if you guys make music or you just want to send music over for us to listen to live and give our feedback, we're going to be doing that and all different types of, uh, kind of streams and that variety on twitch start march 1st nice that's yeah. super exciting i will be in the chat i will be uh Let's go. all the emotes dancing along to all the music that you're making <laughs> oh awesome yeah we're gonna do like tutorials and all different types of things and then another thing we wanted to do at some point is like start a kind of like almost what you're doing but like a podcasty style bring guests in and like maybe every monday talk music maybe talk mm -hmm. games so we're we're gonna be doing that all on Twitch, which I'm excited about. Who would be your dream guest to have on a show like that? Uh my dream. So my dream collab is doing something with the 1975. Hmm. 
Uh, they're like my favorite band. So s- having them on as a guest would be really cool. Um, I think like something like having a guest that you don't really realize plays video games a lot, but they actually game a lot is like the perfect type of type of guest. Yeah. Um, because it's like I always go back to when Ninja and Drake did the live stream for the first time, and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, Drake's one of us. You know, like he's a yeah. he's a gamer. <laughs> so I think anything, any type of guest like that, where you're like, oh my god, I, they play this X, Y, and Z, uh, would be cool. Nice. Um, and then next show, can we let everyone know where you'll be next? Slash, yeah. like, are tickets still available? Where can we see you next? Saturday, we're in Denver talking about Red Rocks. We're in Denver, but not at Red Rocks. So yeah, is that it's cool, I guess. Uh, we're in Denver, and then the following week, we're in. New York, and then the following week we're in LA. Awesome. So if yeah, you guys are in any of those cities, yeah, sure any of those uh... cities, and uh, just DM us. Well, we always do this for people in our live stream, so we'll extend the branch to your live stream. That if anybody wants to come see a show, just DM us on Instagram, and uh, we'll give you free tickets. Hey, there you go. You guys heard it here first. Um, and then where can they reach you on social media? What's your app? Everything's at We Are Lost Kings. So Instagram, Twitter, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace um any other one awesome and then anything else that you would like to tell the stream today anything else exciting coming up or anything like that and i'm just excited that i tied you <laughs> like that game was going south see this is another thing i'm gonna have to black out from my memory yeah <laughs> like let's let's talk about the comeback right there see like, i bottled it like arsenal did last year yeah i was down four one i think and we came back I, I I hit you with the Arsenal being the best team in the league, Chan. Uh, that was this is probably the best stream I've ever had right there. Like I got, forget I got playing at Coachella. I, I you you tied me on stream, so that kind of tops it. <laughs> yeah, I would say tying you on stream. You have no idea how much I practiced in the last twenty four hours, <laughs> and how much no, I yelled that I couldn't defend. So I, as long as I didn't embarrass myself, that's a huge win. No, you absolutely smashed it. So congratulations <laughs> on the draw. And honestly, if you keep playing, you will become better than me because you're you're very very decent at the game. I used to play FIFA a ton, like the old ones. It's learning this defense is is a nightmare. Yeah, but the more you play, the better you get at it. So yeah, you figure you it out more. a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. You gotta run. You gotta run it back. I feel like our our two v twos. We we pretty much beat anybody. Is what it felt like. Yeah, we were decent. You were you were the best co-op partner that I've had on any of my shows so far. So, oh. yeah, we we actually spent and a rage quit can't get much better than that. Yeah, we got a rage quit. That's huge. Yeah, that's huge. um. All right, Rob. Well, I want to give you a massive, massive thank you for coming on the show today. Um, I hopefully you had fun, and uh, no, this is super fun. Despite the fact that you're an Arsenal fan, we we love that you came on the show. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure you guys all hit him with a follow. Follow the Lost Kings. And if, yeah, if anyone's in any of those cities that he is going to be playing a show coming soon, make sure to hit up one of those shows because it is a good time. Yeah, just and, let us know. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, chat, thank you very, very much for watching the show. If you have not hit that follow button, hit that follow button. And make sure to give Rob a follow and Lost Kings as well since they will be posting everything that they have going on in the future. But um, other than that, that's about it, Rob. All right. Thank you for having me. This was fun. We got to do it again. Yes. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.